Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel today. My name is Gina and I firmly believe there's more to life than looking good, but you've got to look good too. Today is a look good video because I'm going to share with you my wish list of things that I am going to purchase at the Sephora Beauty Insider sale event, which begins on Friday, August 24th. Rouge members can shop for about six days, both in store and online for 20% off. And then the other um, beauty levels will experience uh, different varying levels of percentage sale prices um, in the days after that. One thing to note, which I which caught me by surprise, you can shop every day, like unlimited times, like in the store. The coupon code that they provide you is only valid one time. I believe that's new. I don't think Sephora, now I know Ulta has always done that, but I don't think Sephora has ever done that. And that where I, I almost am positive because I know that I wind up buying like five different times during the Sephora, like the VIB sale stuff, which they're now actually calling the Beauty Insider sale. Sephora is changing things. I don't have all of the details on what the changes are, but I do know I've heard some rumblings, other people chatting that they're kind of changing their rewards. Um, system. I believe actually that uh, depending on your level of Beauty Insider, you will get, you know, one point versus 1.25 points versus one and a half points depending for every dollar that you spend, depending on, uh, like I said, what level you are, if you're a Rouge or if you're simply a Beauty Insider. So yeah, they're not calling it a VIB sale. I had no idea this sale was coming. And what's crazy is I had decided earlier, literally this week, earlier in the week that I was going to purchase two very expensive items and I thought, well, I'm not buying them now. And I've got time, I'm gonna wait till November when they normally have their sale. And then it was like the next day that I heard that the sale was coming um, Friday the 24th. And I was actually kind of mad because I was like, I wasn't prepared to step up and buy those items yet, but now I have to because they're on sale. So anyway, um, my shopping list, my wish list this year was a little bit different than I've usually done because I came to another realization, actually kind of earlier in the month. Um, I've been purging a lot of my makeup and going through it and I had decided I will probably in the future share with you what survived after the purge, like post purge, because my process of going through things is way too time consuming and you don't need to sit me sit with me while I talk to myself like for 20 minutes about a blush. Like, do I keep it or do I not? Because I have problems. I love to declutter anything, but sometimes I have issues. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna show you, tell me if you are interested in that. I'll show you what survived um, the purge, post purge. Anyway, what I realized though, was that I, in addition to collecting so much, I tend to buy backups quite a bit of things. And I realized, for example, that I bought backups of some foundations, which I lived for at the time. And not that I don't live for them, but now I've got backups on them, but I've, and I've got other products that I like even more. And so I want to be careful about using the sale prices as a means of buying duplicates or buying extra of the same thing, which I may or may not wind up liking down the line. And so, but going along with that, you are supposed to use the sale prices and the sale time to buy those things that you know that you love. But I just, this time I was a little bit more conservative. One of the foundations that I found, actually I have a backup of the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation Stick. I have a backup of the Anastasia uh, Foundation Stick and I have a backup of the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. All of which I use, but not with the same regularity that I was before, so. My wish list this year is different. This uh, video right now is completely off the cuff. I don't have anything to show you. I don't have pictures. I don't have anything. But I thought, you know what? This is just me and you. We're having like a cup of coffee because I drink coffee all day. It's a little bit after three o'clock right now. Um, so we're just having a cup of coffee and we are talking about what we're going to buy. So like when you talk to your friends, you don't like whip out a picture every single time, right? So I will uh, leave my list down below so you can reference it there. Um, but I will be going off my phone. I've got my list ready to go. Um, and this is kind of what I'm interested in. I am buying some things that as a backup, but like I said, very conservative about it. One of the things that's actually not on this list that I would have bought as a backup is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. But during the Ulta 50% off sale, that 21 Days of Beauty, I bought like six of them at that time. So I don't need to buy any more right now. Besides, it's only 20% off for me now. Okay, the first thing I'm getting, oh, 
this is conflict. <laughs> I am going to get again, the Laura Mercier flawless fusion, ultra long wear concealer. I had purchased it prior. Um, in the shade that really was the closest to my skin and it didn't match at all. It was a completely different tone. I didn't like the way it looked. I wanted to love the concealer because I love, um, I love the foundation. Um, but at that time I got mad because I didn't like the shade options. I decided that this time I am going to, um, get the lighter shade and I'm going to use it more as a highlighting or brightening under eye concealer. This is the uh, the Laura Mercier concealer. Um, so I'm going to go with the lightest shade that they have since I am pretty light and I hope that that will wind up working out. So I am going to get one of those concealers. Um, okay. This was the expensive item that I was hoping to delay until November. I am going to get the Tom Ford bronzer brush. Clearly I love brushes. We've been here before. No, I don't need brushes. My husband who supports anything that I buy, actually said to me, he's like, but you have a lot of brushes. And I was like, you have a lot of tools. Do not judge. Leave me alone. I never tell you don't buy. Well, actually, that's not true. <laughs> I probably say to him too. You're buying another tool. You have a lot of tools. Okay. So I'm going to get the Tom Ford bronzer brush. I have been using uh, prior. I have been using the Bobbi Brown flawless face blender. What do they call this? Face blender brush. Um, and I love it. But why does everybody keep talking about the Tom Ford brush? In conjunction, I was using that with uh, a very popular Morphe bronzing brush, which was the M527. I'm thinking that the Tom Ford bronzer brush is going to be a hybrid, like the baby child of these two brushes. And you know what? I'm annoyed that I have to use two brushes to get the bronzing here and then the bronzing all over and the drag down the neck and underneath the jawline and stuff. So. I'm going to suck it up. I actually decided I'm going to do a video about that and review that and tell you whether or not you need to spend $115 minus 20% um, on a particular brush. The other thing that I'm getting along with that, because I figured go big or go home as that, what does that phrase even mean? Go big or go home? So if you go like a little bit, does that mean you can't stay? Or if you don't, right? If you don't want to go like the whole thing, that means you have to go home. Why? What if I don't want to take like the major risk? That's a stupid phrase. <laughs> anyway, I am going to also get the Marc Jacobs, um, they call it the bronze bronzer brush. Um, a little bit less expensive than the Tom Ford at $78. Um, shaped a little bit different too from what I can tell uh, the way that it looks. I am going to buy them both. I live for the Marc Jacobs brand kind of overall. I think for the most part, like I love like 90% of his stuff. Um, I have never bought a Marc Jacobs brush. I've never bought a Tom Ford brush actually. And I feel like I'm going to try them both and find out. I'm going to compare them to each other and find out if they're worth it. And I will buy anything apparently if it is 20% off. Um, I am buying a duplicate of the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I live for this concealer. I have been concealing my face, zits, spots, whatever you want to call it, since I was like 10. And I've tried all the drugstore concealers and I've tried everything else. Nothing covers a zit like the SNARS Complete Concealer. So I'm going to get another one of those and that will be on backup. I've got one in my bathroom. I've got one in my bag. I've got one in my beauty room. I'm just concealing queen. Oh, I am going to get another of the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundations. And that's because I'm kind of almost out of this one. So it's not like it's a backup, like an advanced purchase. It's like a replacement. It's not backup. It's going to be the replacement. I know that I still like this and I'm almost done with it. There's something about this. I kind of feel like this is slightly better than the Estee Lauder Double Wear, uh, Double Wear Foundation. I've, they're comparable enough and they both are an amazing like shade range as, as far as like yellow undertones and stuff. Um, I find that this one either blends nicer, sits nicer. I, I value this one just a little bit more. So I'm definitely going to get another one of those. Okay. So my wish list this time consisted a lot of skincare. Now I, I've never, I've never been a supporter of having to pay more for good skincare because I don't think that's always necessary. But at the same time, I think that good skincare is great for all those reasons that we're all talking about here on YouTube. You know, it's the canvas of your face and the better care you take care of your face, the nicer your makeup applies. So 
I am going to invest a little bit of money this time um, on a couple of higher end skincare items. And I already do have some already, but um, I am going to try, I love the Rose line by Fresh. I am gonna try the Deep Hydration Face Serum. As it, sorry, it's still loading. Um, it is predominantly hyaluronic acid, which I live for. I've tried it in a number of different brands and varieties. Um, I've got combination skin, oily in very area, uh, very oily in some areas, and then like around my mouth and such, very dry. I feel like making sure that I have good hydration is absolutely combating the um, the oiliness that I would experience. My my skin is changing as I get older, and I can tell it's going drier because, like I said before, I'm now combination skin. I like that this is simply hyaluronic acid. That way I can combine it with any other products that I'm using because it's pretty friendly. You can layer it with other things, but I didn't want like hyaluronic acid with like a glycolic acid, which is kind of an exfoliant. Like I wanted to just be able to, no matter what other products I was using, be able to bring moisture to my face. Currently I'm using the Ordinary uh, by the brand The Ordinary, their Hyaluronic Acid, which works great. I don't know if there's better, and I'm about to now find out. I hope that it is better because it's about four times as much money. Also by Fresh and their Rose line. Roses are uber hydrating. That's the deal. And that's why Rose or Roses are, and like Rose Hip Oil and like Rose Oil actually, um, it's kind of the foundation of a lot of their products. It's in their moisture line. I already have um, their night cream, which is kind of like a gel-based moisturizer, but it's the most moisturizing gel-based moisturizer that I've used. Um, and I love that, which is why I want to explore other products. So I'm also going to get the Rose Face Mask. Comes in a little tub. Um, pretty obvious. Um, I had a half-ounce sample from Sephora it was one of their probably 100 point um, perks or rewards that you could get um, and I really like it it looks funny it looks like you got in a fight because it's kind of like it's like caramelly in color it's interesting um, I'm actually only going to get the one ounce I believe there's I forget if it's a two ounce or a three ounce the one ounce is $25 and there is a, a much larger version for about I forget $60 I think probably a three ounce for like 60 bucks. Um, I decided because it's a mask, even though I like it, because it's a mask, I mean, you only use a mask once a week and an ounce will last a really long time. So even though you get more bang for your buck by going bigger for not the same amount of money, and even though it's on sale, I'm just like, you know what, I'm buying a lot of other stuff and my budget needs, <laughs> needs to be treated gently. So I'm just gonna get the smaller. Because I do love using fa uh, sheet masks and even from the drugstore and stuff. So I won't be using it all that much. So I feel like the ounce will last me a long time. I already still have part of the half ounce. So I'm pretty set. Okay, this is interesting. I'm getting an AHA, BHA um, gel. So alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy. What's in this in particular, I don't even have to look it up because I've done so much research. And this is why I wanted to bring it to your attention. So the alpha hydroxy acid acids are like glycolic acid, lactic acid. They act as skin surface exfoliants. I really hope I didn't get that backwards. I'm almost positive I didn't. Alpha is on the top. Um, and it works to remove dead skin cells. That's great because it will prevent you from breaking out or reduce your breakouts. It will also allow all of your products to penetrate much easier and much better deep into your skin um, because there isn't like a cruddy barrier of crap sitting on the top of your skin. Um, and so I definitely need that. Uh, it helps when you are both aging and if you have some problem skin. You have to be careful if you've got sensitive skin and there's different levels. Um, this will be the Peter Thomas Roth AHA BHA Acne Clearing Gel. So I need the skin resurfacing, like I said, for anti-aging as well as for acne. The BHA um, or beta hydroxy acid, acid, why do I keep saying acids? Acids, and they penetrate into your pores. 
Um, the example is this, this beta hydroxy acid is salicylic acid, and that's a common acne treatment. The reason for that is because it gets into your pores. So if you have a lot of blackheads or if you have large pores, you don't even need to have acne to benefit from salicylic acid. And so it will get into your pores and clean them out. I have tremendously large pores. And so I definitely need the salicylic acid for that. So that's the AHA, BHA. That's about three ounces for about 50 bucks. Now, the reason I mention it is because I was very seriously considering the one, oh, I actually took it out of my cart. I was very seriously considering the TLC, um, from Drunk Elephant. It has a really long name. Fr fr TLC, Frambu, Framu, I forget. <laughs> that actually is the same thing, except one ounce is, on, is actually $90. But it has a 12% complex of those alpha hydroxy acids, including glycolic acid, as well as lactic acid and a number of other acids. Um, it only has about, has about half the amount of salicylic acid in it. Um, and then it's also got some hyaluronic acid in it, which is good because it's bringing moisture to skin, a skin surface that might be not raw, but just tender from all of the kind of topical exfoliation. Everybody loves junk elephant. And when I was doing my research, I actually, I shouldn't say that people either love or hate that line. And I was seeing that a lot of people were having issues with using that line. And I'm like, oh my gosh, but it's so much money and I don't want to like mess with my skin. So kind of the general, and this is what I wanted to share, the general consensus that I gathered was because Drunk, Ele Drunk Elephant is expensive because it doesn't have, it's, it's primarily very pure ingredients and it doesn't have a lot of the fillers that either slow down or prevent the total absorption of the... Um, product into your skin. And so what that means is kind of rapid, like undiluted um, treatment for your skin. And I realized that not everybody's skin can handle that. I don't think mine could handle that. I saw that people were getting, you know, they were having red patches, their skin was raw, they just weren't reacting very well. And I, I just feel like it was just like an overdose of seemingly good stuff. So if your skin can handle that and you don't have, I don't even have sensitive skin, but my skin can get finicky. And I feel like sometimes there's too much of a good thing. And my overall assessment is, you know what? You're really pricey. You have something of a shorter shelf life simply because you've got all of these really somewhat pure ingredients without a lot of the preservatives and the fillers and that sort of thing. Um, and there was such a, a balanced report of good and bad experiences. I was like, you know what? I'm not stepping up and I'm not spending that money. I know what my skin is like and I don't think that intense treatment would react with it very well. And so the one by Peter Thomas Roth, um, doesn't have as much of the alpha hydroxy acids in it, that whole 12% complex that, um, the drunk elephant one does. And so... I want it to be a little diluted. I don't want it to like attack into my skin because I don't, I feel like it's not going to work out well. Now, if you love Drunk Elephant, that's great. I hear fabulous things about that line as well. And so I just realized, you know what? It's not for me. And also the one by Peter Thomas Roth has double the salicylic acid. And I really want to focus on my pores and not as much the um, skin resurfacing. P.S. I also use Retin-A and that's a topical skin exfoliant as well. And so I felt like I didn't need it as much in my product. This took me like three days to decide between the Peter Thomas Roth and the Drunk Elephant one. And that was kind of my overall research on Drunk Elephant. Um, I did try the C Firma Day Serum, the one that kind of stinks a little bit. Is that the one that stinks a little bit? Um, and that's the one that's got vitamin C in it, which is an antioxidant. It's so great for your skin. That burned my skin. That just tingled in a way and I heard that you could get used to it and I'm like I don't need to put my skin through drama to get used to something it's like when you buy a pair of shoes they shouldn't hurt you when you buy them you don't have to break in shoe at least that's what I've been told I don't break in a pair of shoes you either are comfy town when I try you on or we're not gonna hang out okay back to Murad this was the other skin product that I was interested in getting it's called the rapid age spot and pigment lightening 
serum. So this does have vitamin C in it. Currently I'm using the Ula Henriksen Truth Serum. That's the one that comes in the orange bottle. That is a, a somewhat gentle version from what I understand of vitamin C, I guess if you were to compare them. So this one by Murad also has um, vitamin C in it. Um, but what I like about this now, I like I said, I've had acne for a long time. Um, it comes in a little pretty bottle that looks like that. Um, what this happens to have in it, and this is what kind of got me excited. So it's got the vitamin C, which is the antioxidant. It also has a little bit of glycolic acid in it, which is a little bit of a resurfacer, which also helps to brighten your skin, which is what I was looking for. This is something that I'll use in the daytime, whereas the Peter Thomas Roth I'll use at nighttime. Um, but it has this thing called hydroquinone 2% in it. And it's a skin lightening ingredient. And that will definitely help with the acne scarring and the dark patches and just the uneven skin tone that I have. And again, I've shared, it's the whole reason I got into makeup was to cover up what I was trying to hide. So I'm hoping maybe I can use like less foundation or not feel so insecure in, in my makeup free face if I can kind of get everything to even out a little bit. So I am very excited to try that. That one is an ounce as well. Um, for about $70. So pricey, but eh, fingers crossed, I'm hoping it works. All right, couple other easy, or actually, I think just one other thing. By Bite Beauty, they make the Agave Lip Mask, which comes, which I have, but not in front of me. It comes in the little miniature toothpaste tube. So you have to squeeze it out. I love that. I've got one at my bedside table. I've got one in my bathroom. I've got one here somewhere. I'm not going to waste your time looking for it. But then they also came out with it in a bullet. Kind of looks a little bit like the Mac bullets, you know, where it's just kind of a little black guy. Very chubby. Um, not quite as soft, obviously, as the one that's in the tube, but it is perfect for on the go. I love carrying that with me. I used to love carrying the fresh sugar um, lip balms that they sell and they have a whole bunch of different colors. I love the original, the best and kind of the brown tube. That thing melts though, like nobody's business. Like my husband went to borrow it once. So being like a boy, he went to put it on and the whole thing like mushed into nothing. I was like, oh my God, that's $25 all over the place now. But what I like is that the one by Agave, uh, but the one by Bite Beauty, the Agave um, lip mask bullet, uh, is quite a bit firmer. So it's a little bit sticky to put on, which I like too, because it stays in place and doesn't like slip all over the place. Smells really good, has a little bit of a taste, but that's the way Bite Beauty is. They have a lot of natural ingredients. And uh, I'm just gonna get a backup of those. Actually, because I'm almost, not even a backup, it's a replacement. It's because I'm almost done with the one that I'm currently using. That is my wish list. What else would I recommend for you? I love the Sephora Pro. This is what I already own. I love the Sephora Pro brush line. Um, if you weren't interested in spending big bucks on those bronzer brushes that I'm gonna get. Um, the Sephora Pro crease and tapered crease brushes, I love them. I actually love the entire Pro line. Those are really good quality brushes. They're like mid-range pricing, um, but they do um, really well. I've got their foundation brush, their concealer brush, their powder brushes are really great. Another really good brush, oh my gosh, I love brushes, is the Tarte Bamboo Brush. I love this brush for foundation. Um, it's so soft, it covers a wide area, but blends nicely, minimal streaking, love, love. Um, I would probably recommend uh, getting an Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I can't get enough of those. Sorry, it's my alarm that I'm supposed to get ready for work. I told you, this that was a duck by the way, in case you were wondering what that noise was. I told you this was off the cuff and I am, uh, I have to get ready for work apparently. So I guess I need to close this off. Um, I love the Estee Lauder under eye concealer. That is pretty phenomenal. Um, oh my gosh, I could just go on. Most of my life comes from Sephora. So um, I will link my other kind of Sephora hauls or recommendation lists as well. Um, you can check those out. But this is what I am currently going for. So I hope this was helpful. What are you planning on buying? I'm very excited to find out um, because I can always go to the store if I need to. But remember that coupon code online is only good for one time. Um, 
I think that's kind of chintzy. I'm not really a fan of that. I'm not sure why they changed it, but whatever. Who am I to judge? Um, anyway, uh, if you're one of my subscribers, thank you again for stopping by. If not, I invite you to be a member of the G Crew. That would be fabulous. Um, so please do subscribe before you head out and go check out someone else's video or maybe another one of mine. Um, I am on Instagram and Twitter. Please check me out over there as well. Do I have anything else to tell you? I don't think so. I'm more stressed right now because I've got to get to work. <laughs> and you've been hearing me talk for a long time. I can't believe I talked this long. I'm surprised my alarm went off. Anyway, thanks so much for spending your time with me. Have a lot of fun at the sale. Don't blow the budget. Just because something's on sale doesn't mean that you should get it. Um, I hope you have a good rest of the day. I look forward to seeing you in the meantime. Don't forget, leave me a comment below and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.